Hey guys, I hope you're all are having a wonderful holiday season so far. Today we'll be doing a workout that focuses on growing our lats and our lower body which can overall give the illusion of a smaller waist and that hourglass figure. Of course, doing a single workout won't automatically get you to your goal, but by continuously doing workouts just like this, it can definitely help you progress towards your goal. This video is in partnership with Bombshell Sportswear and my entire outfit is from there. Before we jump into the workout, I just want to give you guys a quick review of the entire outfit that I have on just so I can answer any questions you guys might have about it right off the bat. My measurements will be in the description box for you guys to reference and of course you guys will always get my honest opinion. Let's get started. I got these leggings in a size extra small and thought they were true to size. These leggings fit a little bit longer than a full length legging on me. The top half of the leggings and the bottom half are made of entirely different materials. The top half is definitely more stretchy, where the lower half is more compressive. These were about 90% scrap proof, but I did not find any issues with sheerness when I wore them for this following workout and that they performed well. The waistband is made entirely of elastic and I did find that it scooped a little bit lower in the back than it did in the front and I found myself having to pull the waistband back up as I moved around. There are no pockets on these leggings and there was a slight camel toe issue as well if that's something that concerns you. Out of 5 stars, I'd give these a 4. Overall, I love how they look and they just made me feel like a total VA in the gym. The sports bra I got in a size small, true to size. There are adjustable straps and removable pads, and what I love most about this sports bra is a simple open back. I honestly don't have any complaints about this sports bra, I thought it performed well. Out of 5 stars, I'd give the sports bra a 5. I also find that with some white sports bras that they can be see-through, but this one was completely opaque. We started this workout with barbell deadlifts for two warm-up sets of 15 reps at a lighter weight and then increasing the weight for four sets of 12 reps. For a full walkthrough of the warm-ups I do for a workout like this, please check out my other leg workout that I linked down below. For an in-depth tutorial on how to deadlift, please refer to my how to deadlift video link in the description. You can do conventional or sumo deadlifts, whatever you prefer. Inhale and contract your lats right before the rep and squeeze your glutes and push the ground down with your feet to lock out. Exhale as you lock out. The next exercise we'll be doing is hip thrusts for 4 sets of 12 reps. If you have a booty builder machine at your gym, you can also use that machine for this exercise as well. I have tutorials on how to hip thrust and how to use a booty builder machine that I'll link down below. Your knees should come to a 90 degree angle when you lock out and your chin should stay tucked into your chest with your spine neutral. I'll also have the barbell pad that I'm using linked below. After hip thrusts, we'll be doing Smith Machine kneeling squats for 4 sets of 15 reps. I have a mat on the floor to make it more comfortable on my knees. It might take a few tries to figure out the most comfortable position for you. If you have any questions on how to use a Smith Machine, please refer to my How to Use Gym Equipment video or any of my Smith Machine exercise tutorials. Make sure to keep the bar on the back of your shoulders and not on your neck to minimize pain on your neck. The final leg exercise we'll be doing is a hip abductor machine for 4 sets of 12 reps. I'll be adding a resistance band or bed by knees for increased intensity. The one I'm using is the MB hip circle that I'll link down below. Exhale as you push your knees out and inhale as you return back to starting position. We're going to move on to our back exercises, starting with alternating lap pull downs for 4 sets of 10 reps. A pull down on the right plus a pull down on the left plus a full pull down equals 1 rep. If you're unfamiliar with how to use a lap pull down machine, please refer to my how to use gym equipment video linked down below as well as my how to do a lap pull down form video. Remember to keep your elbows pointing to the sides of your body and not behind you for a more lat focused movement when you pull down. Exhale as you pull down and inhale as you return back to starting position.
The next exercise you'll be doing is alternating left pull downs for 4 sets of 10 reps. One pull down on the right, one on the left, and one on both equals one rep. If you're unfamiliar with how to use a cable machine, please refer to my how to use a cable machine video. As you pull down, allow your lat muscles to feel the movement. As with the lat pull down machine exercise we just did prior to this, make sure to point your elbow into the sides of your rib cage and not behind you when you pull down for the most lat focused movement. I like doing this variation as well as the one we just did even though they're similar because I feel like I can isolate my lat muscles better with this one where the first one will incorporate more of my overall back muscles. The final exercise in this workout will be single arm seated cable rows for 4 sets of 12 reps per arm. I'll just be using a single handle attachment for this exercise and I have an entire tutorial on how to use this machine if you're unfamiliar with it that is linked down below. Bend slightly forward at the hips when you begin the rep and pull your elbow into the side of your rib cage as you pull back. If you are feeling the movement in your arms more than your back, I'd recommend decreasing the weight you're using to incorporate better mind to muscle connection with your back muscles. Since this is a back exercise, we want to make sure that we are utilizing our back muscles more than our arms when doing this movement. Thanks so much for working out with me today guys. If you enjoyed this workout, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss out on other great workouts just like this. For daily workout and fitness tips, follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. Have a great rest of your year guys.